Happy New Year and blessings to all of you out there that are part of our extended family, our Shala family. Wishing all of you a beautiful beginning to 2024. This week, obviously, we did uh, puja, and I'm encouraging everyone to get your candle and your flower and our usual beautiful rituals. We've been talking about how rituals bring more meaning into our life, and this is such a sacred, important time of the year to pause from our busy, wonderful, messy lives and just reflect on the year past and maybe even use our feng shui bagua to look at the different um, aspects of our life, our relationships, our family, our vocation, our creativity, our health, like looking at all these different places where we've come and how we spent the precious moments of 2023, the precious moments of 2023, as we pause for a moment and reflect and then set intention, we say sankalpa, for what we want to bring into the new year. And one of the things that I shared with everyone that was really powerful for me this year is to think that life is a practice. I mean, every time I wake up in the morning, I have the opportunity to practice being grateful, um, the blessing of a new day. I have the opportunity to practice loving people, practice loving myself, practice kindness, practice um, letting go, surrender. Um, but as well, we are in a time of reflection where we can look at what else am I practicing unintentionally? I don't realize I'm getting better and better at maybe being irritated at someone or complaining about some aspect of my job or some aspect of a relationship. And really this is a time where we can go inward. Um, this is our winter solstice time as well where we're in reflection and we go internal in, into our own silence and listening where we can really kind of look around at the corners and little closets of our life and the moments of how we spend our days to see, wow, I'm always irritated here, or I'm always talking bad about this one thing here, and to see that as a practice. And if we're practicing that, we're getting better at it. And so join me as I look at myself, Svadhyaya, self-study, you look at yourself this time of year to say, what would I really like to practice and become better and better at? What would I love to be an expert in this year? And if you want to be an expert in love, then what are the what are the ways that you're going to practice love? And where are the corners in your life where you're not practicing as well as you would like to? Where you can set some beautiful intention on how you're going to show up and practice and live this one wild precious life, as we say, always our quote from Mary Oliver. So join me for some intention setting in puja this week and starting off this new year with the beautiful love and light and peace and kindness and all the things we want to bring into how we show up and live.